Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden and Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 20th through the 26th of April, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading, and Sagittarius, my grandchildren are running around playing having the time of their life so if you hear them in the background just know that they are fine okay all right spirit Sagittarius what energies do we have for Sagittarius thank you spirit all right Ooh, we have take the lead all right thank you spirit all right, what does Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know this week? 20th through the 26th, Spirit. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we're ready. Situation. All right. Eight of Cups. And your foundation, Ace of Swords. Recent past energy, Ace of Cups. Crowning you, Seven of Swords. Love it. New circumstance, Nine of Cups. All right, beautiful. You're going after that Ninth Cup here uh, as the, your situation, okay? And you're going to be getting it. You're going to be getting this Nine of Cups. All right. In the position of what you need to know, we have the Devil. Your outcome energy, we've got the Two of Cups. Okay. All right. We have the number sequence. Seven, eight, and nine. We have the master number 11 coming up here. We also have one, two, three. <laughs> I love it. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. All right, Sagittarius, you're taking back your power. You're taking the lead. You're going after something that you have so much passion and desire for. I love it. Okay, you're not backing down. For some of you, you are definitely starting a new beginning. Okay, you are breaking free from anything or anyone that you felt was holding you back. Okay, this could have been limitations and restrictions as well. You're breaking free. You're taking control over your situation, your circumstances. You're understanding how powerful you are. Okay. Some of you could be moving up within a company or corporation that you work for. Some of you are stepping into a completely new experience and it's going to be powerful. With the Eight of Cups coming up here as your current situation, I love it. You know, this talks about you're leaving behind these Eight Cups. Okay. This could be years of doing something or being in a situation this could have been years in a in a toxic work environment or maybe it wasn't toxic maybe it was a job you didn't like okay you had to make yourself get up and go to it for some of you you could have been in a relationship for years okay and it could have been toxic or maybe you're realizing this wasn't your soul connection your soulmate and you're deciding to go your own way. This is going to mean something different to each of you because there are so many of you watching. Remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a powerful energy because you're definitely taking the lead here. Okay? You're changing direction. You're moving forward. You're going after that ninth cup. And you're going to get it because that's your new circumstance. 
okay? This takes a great deal of courage and inner strength, but you're doing it. It's amazing. Now, in the position of what's driving you and moving you forward this week is powerful. The Ace of Swords represents you have the clarity to take action, okay? To start this new journey, this new beginning right here. Doing what's right and what's just for you and your situation. Okay? Some of you, like I said, you're using this, this uh, sword right here. For some of you, you know, I, I'm just, I'm feeling this energy right here, Sagittarius. You may have, you know, walked away from a painful, painful si situation, okay? Like I said, it took a great deal of inner strength to be able to break free and move forward. Definitely talking about letting go of another person walking away this could have been a career as well but you're going after something that you're starting a new journey let me rephrase that a new journey that is creative okay not only is it creative you have foresight you have passion about what it is that you're going after and the Ace of Swords represents a new beginning of success. Okay? I love it. Ace of Cups in your recent past. You're still feeling this energy because it's showing up in your reading. You've recently refilled your cup. Or you've recently allowed a healing. You've become one with your higher self. You've gotten an alignment with your true destiny here what you desire okay and you've taken action I feel like you walked through a door okay you made it to the finish line and you shut that door and now it's there there's been an opportunity or there's a blessing that has taken place here and this blessing could have been the clarity that you needed to be able to walk through a new door, to be able to start this new journey. Now, I am getting the energy here, all right, for one or two of you. Someone recently offered you a cup of love, or you offered someone a cup of love, okay? And I feel like a healing took place because I feel like this, you know, like I said, this is going to be for one or two of you. I feel like you've been in a relationship in your past that was very painful. Okay, someone broke your heart. They, they betrayed you. And I feel that this healing took place here. Because someone you have crossed paths with is your soulmate. There's that connection. All right? And there had to be a healing take place in order for you to accept this cup of love or offer a cup of love. Okay? For some of you, this is what, you know, you're going after. Making a commitment to another person. Wow, you're going to have to leave me a comment on that one. My guide is giving me that. I always like to have that uh, confirmation. So please, if that message was for you, leave me a comment. All right. So in your crowning position, you have the seven of swords. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Now, for some of you, this was betrayal. This is somebody that done you dirty. Somebody that stole from you, lied to you. Okay, and you're, you're walking away. Like I said, you're closing that door and walking through a new one. Now, for others of you, okay, this wasn't lies or betrayal. This is you getting goal-oriented here, making a plan, a strategy, 
having a backup plan, A, B, and C, about what it is that you're going after. Some of you are going after a wish fulfillment, okay? A dream. You're understanding it's within reach. And you are diving deep. You're gaining all the knowledge. You're doing all the research, okay? You're making sure that you know everything there is to know. You have so much knowledge because you know knowledge is power, okay, with what you're taking action on. Some of you, this is a new career. This is a business, okay? Now you have the Nine of Cups coming up. Here's your new circumstance. What did I tell you? You got that Ninth Cup. You got the wish fulfillment. You got a blessing here. Your cup, okay, you started out here in your recent past with this Ace of Cups. You made it all the way up here. Your cup runneth over times nine right here, okay? Whatever this is, okay, this is what you wanted. This is what you were going after. And the nine of cups represents you doing something or going after something, okay? You're achieving something that brings you emotional satisfaction and fulfillment right here, Sagittarius. Okay? Beautiful energy. Now, it wasn't easy, but you made it, okay? Or you're going to make it. You've got the devil, the energy of Capricorn coming up here in the position of what you need to know. For those of you that you walked away from a toxic relationship, here it is. Like I said, it wasn't easy. It was very difficult. For some of you, you know, this is not another person. This, this could have been anything that you were dealing with, okay? With these eight of cups here that you're walking away from that literally left you feeling limited, bound, restricted, okay? But you have broken free. Now, two of cups, your outcome energy. I love it. Like I said, for one or two of you, there's a commitment here to another person. Okay, a marriage, maybe taking a relationship to the next step. All right. For others of you, this is, again, you becoming one with your higher self. Okay. I'm getting this, this bond. Not just with your higher self, but with your guides, your angel spirit. You being true to yourself. You loving yourself. Okay? You making a commitment with whatever this was. Okay? Whatever was in these cups. You knowing that you deserve better than that. You knowing your worth. And you making that commitment that you're not going to allow whatever that was to happen to you again. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, I feel it. Now, for some of you, this definitely could be a business partnership. There could be uh, a situation here that we're dealing with contracts, okay? The Seven of Swords can represent a contract as well, and the Two of Cups. Now, I want you to keep in mind, always read the fine print. Make sure that you know what you are signing up for, okay? But I feel like whatever this has to do with, it, it's going to bring so much harmony and balance and just happiness and joy into your life. Okay? For some of you, this could be a new career that's going to be amazing. Okay? And you've worked hard for this. You've earned this. Alright? The devil energy, when you feel limited and restricted or you know, period, having this energy and you break free from it, I tell you what, we're talking about a lot of inner wisdom, a lot of inner strength, like I said, and the spirit of perseverance. Thank you, spirit. You guys have taken back power, control, and authority. 
over your life, okay, in a powerful, positive way. Remember, Sagittarius, when you set your mind to it, something that you truly want and desire, it's, it's already done, okay? It's already done. You've already got it. You just got to move forward. And that's exactly what you've done. You've moved forward. You're not looking back. All right? And you, you've got it right here. Right here. Thank you, Spirit. I'm feeling an energy of just humbleness, peace. <laughs> I love it. Oneness is my true nature. Thank you, Spirit. Claim it, Sagittarius. All right. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Yes. All right, Sagittarius. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know what this is that you're walking away from. Let me know what you're taking the lead with here. I want to know. I read all the comments. I love you guys. All right, Sagittarius. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.